Thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to study statistics one, number 18. The table below shows the data obtained from the score sample of a physics contest. So we have the marks in percentages grouped in classes. There's also the number of students which represent the frequency for each class. Part A, using the table above, Roman one, state the model class. The model class is the class which has the highest frequency. So when we look at the classes and we study their respective frequencies, we can see that the highest frequency is a frequency of 30 and it is for the class 61 to 75. So this one is going to be our model class. Second part, we are calculating the mean mark. For us to calculate the mean, we need to come up with x. And these are the midpoints of each class. For us to get the midpoint of a class, we need to take the lower limit plus the upper limit, we divide by two. For example, in the first class, 11 plus 25 gives us 36 out of two, 18. So the midpoint is 18. The next midpoint, we do the same, we get 28. The next one, we do the same, we get 40.5. The next one, after adding 50, 51 and 60, dividing by 2, we get 55.5. And finally, we get 68. So those are the midpoints. Now we need the product of each midpoint and the corresponding frequency. So 18 by 18, this gives us 324. 12 by 28, this gives us 336. 20 by 40.5, this gives us 810. Then 18 by 55.5, this gives us 999. And finally, 30 by 68, 2040. And now we can calculate the addition of all products of f and x and this is going to give us 4509 so that the mean is now calculated which is given by the summation of f of x divided by the summation of f so we will be talking of 45.09 divided by when we add the frequency 18 plus 12 plus 20 plus 18 plus 30 we're going to get 98 so when this is divided we get 46.01 to four significant figures that will be the main mark part b we are told the on the grid provided below, draw a histogram to represent the data above. Something we should understand is that uh, the data is having different class widths. So with different class widths, we don't plot frequency against the boundaries. There is the ordinary histograms whereby the class widths are the same, and there we plot frequency against class uh, class boundaries. But for this case, the class intervals are not the same. So we have to calculate something called the frequency density. Frequency density is usually given by the frequency of a class divided by its wings. For us to get the wings of the classes, uh, remember the frequencies are already provided. So we just need the, the wings. We get the upper boundary minus the lower boundary. For example, in the first class, for us to get frequency density, then we need 25.5 minus 10.5. That is the upper boundary and the lower boundary respectively for the lower class. And that will give us exactly 15. So we need 18 over 15, which is 1.2. The next class, when we divide 12 by the wings of five, we get 2.4, 20, Frequency divided by a width of 20, we get exactly 1, so 1.0. Then we need to take 
18 divided by a width of 10, giving us 1.8. And finally, 30 divided by a class width of, of 15, that will give us 2.0. So these are the frequency densities, and they are the ones to be plotted on the vertical axis against the class boundaries on the x-axis. So let us now go to the graphical work now and come up with the plot that we want. Frequency densities will be on this axis. So we're going to have frequency density against the class boundaries on the x-axis. So after plotting the axis, we just need to choose a good scale for both quantities on both axes. For the vertical axis, where the frequency density is, I can start from zero, then I go to 0 0.4, 0 0.8, then 1 1.2, 1.6, 2.0, 2.4, 2.8. That is a suitable scale. On the horizontal axis, I can start from 0 0.5 as the first unit. Then I use intervals of 10, whereby I will now go to, from 0 0.5, I go to 10.5, then 20 .5, 30.5, 40.5, 50.5, 60.5, 70.5, 80.5, 90.5 sign up classes. So let me now start plotting. The first class will start from the lower boundary of 10.5 to the upper boundary of 25.5. So from 10.5 to 25.5 and the height, which is the frequency density is 1.2. This is where we're going to, to reach. So the height is 1.2, and we are moving all the way to 20.5. So up to this point. That is the first bar for the first class. We should know that uh, with histograms, the bars are usually adjusted because the upper class boundary of one class is usually the lower boundary for the successive class. So the other class now is beginning from 25.5 all the way to 30.5, but the height is 2.4. So we're going to raise up to 2.4. Then the class is moving up to 30.5. Yeah, to 30.5. So that is the next class. From 30.5, we shall move all the way to 50.5. To 50.5, and the height is 1. 1 is exactly between 0 0.8 and 1.2. So exactly between 0 0.8 and 1.2, going to be here. That is where the height of 1 is. Then now we shall have the class reaching 50.5, that is the third bar. The fourth bar will start from 50.5 all the way to 60.5, to 60.5 and the height is going to be 1.8. 1.8 is exactly between 1.6 and 2.0, so up to here. Yeah, this is the bar now, which represents the, the fourth class. So that is it. And finally, we have 
from 60.5 to 75.5 and the height is 2. So with a height of 2, then to 75.5. Then now we enclose the bar. This is now the histogram. This is the histogram to represent the data. The next question is talking about uh, using the histogram to calculate the median. Hence, draw a vertical line showing where it lies. Let us now use the histogram to calculate our median. We are supposed to know that a median is the max which is going to be scored by the middle student. So with 98 students, we divide this one by two, we get 49. So we need the score for the 49th student. Score for the 49th students. What we're supposed to know is that uh, the area of each bar in this graph is representing the number of students there. Therefore, in the first bar, we're going to have a height of 1.2 and a width of 15, giving us 18 students. So in the first class, there are 18 students. In the next class, a height of 2.4 and a width of 5. This is going to give us 12, the next 12 students. But remember, we want the mark scored by the 49th student. Therefore, the first 18 students are scoring up to 20.5. The next 12, which gives a total of 30, are now scoring up to 30.5. But we want the first 49 students, which, which means we need 19 more students, and students are represented by area. So we need now area in the third bar, which is going to give us 19 students. Remember the height is fixed, so we can only vary the width of this class. Therefore, when we consider all the students in this class, they are going to be 20, but we need the 49. Therefore, we need area, which is going to give us 19 students. So 19 students, which is the area, is given by a width of a height of 1 and a known wings, which means the wings automatically will become 19. So we need a wings of 19 units, which means we are going to add 19 units from 30.5. So when we add 19 to 30.5, then we're going to have 49.5 as the median and this is where it's going to be so we add those units and we're going to find ourselves at this point so this is where the median lies we draw a vertical line to represent the median this is where the median shall be thank you for following subscribe and share